We've talked about disparities in vaccination rates for whites compared to minorities. And while the uh, eligibility, as we mentioned, starts today for every adult in the state, some in the Latino community fear they will continue to lag behind when it comes to the total number of vaccinated. They simply think it's messaging. It's not reaching their folks to understand how important it is for herd immunity, for all of us that everybody be vaccinated. Khalil Maycock, how are they going to address it in this community, specifically here in the state of Iowa? Good morning. Good morning, Elias. The people I spoke with say the reason why they think messages about vaccines are not reaching their community could have to deal with the language barrier and access to technology. So far, only 2% of the state's Hispanic population has been vaccinated, and that's according to the Kaiser Family Foundation. Dr. Rolando Sanchez and Joe Henry say it's a percentage they want to see grow, but they face some barriers. That some people don't trust the safety and efficacy of the vaccines. Dr. Sanchez says some of his Latin patients tell him their mistrust comes from what they see on social media. But he says he's able to get rid of those fears by educating them. However, the problem with the Latin community is that there is a significant percentage of patients that of, uh, of people that don't speak uh, fluent English. Dr. Sanchez says for that population, the problem arises where it's unclear if there is anybody around who is knowledgeable about vaccines who can answer their questions. So to partly solve that problem, he and a few other doctors created online webinars to address vaccines. Because we're hoping that we could understand what are the questions in the community, on the Latin community. However, Henry says state and local governments should be the ones spreading the importance of vaccines, and it should be happening through a public campaign, a PR campaign. Henry feels like to get more Latins vaccinated, state and local governments need to reevaluate the sign up process and where some sites are located. It needs to be offered to them in a way that's easily accessible up into including their doorstep, going to their house, making sure that people are vaccinated within certain neighborhoods. And he says this is important because not everybody has access to the technology to make the appointments or transportation to sites that are not within walking distance. And Henry says LULAC has been in contact with certain government agencies to talk about having people go door to door to help out the Latino community to sign up for those vaccines or also get funding for LULAC to do those door to door operations. But he says nothing is set in stone yet.